Hey guys, welcome to the Digital Difference Maker YouTube channel. My name is David, and today what we're going to be talking about is actually following up your warm Facebook leads. We're going to be going through an actual script that was written, along with having a caller on our session to go through and give some feedback points. We're using a car dealer as an example, but this can be tailored to any industry that serves Facebook leads or utilizes Facebook lead ads. I'm excited to get into it, so let's do it right now. Okay, so here's this script. This, I think, covers pretty much everything that I could think of. I'm sure there's things that I missed or maybe some common objections or questions that you're getting that aren't on here, but I figured we can run through this together and then go over some of my feedback and then you can okay. use that for the rest of your calls. Okay. So the introduction part, like if you say, you know, hi, this is, you know, Margo calling from Evergreen Kia. I'm following up on the information you submitted off Facebook regarding your vehicle interest, specifically whatever their interest is. How are you today? So one thing I noticed in a couple of the calls that I listened to, Margo, was that mm -hmm. you said online um, about the leads okay. form that was submitted online. And you're not necessarily incorrect. However, people are going to think that's a little bit vague. So if we say on Facebook, I think that would be the best. So people can, you know, relate that. Oh, okay. The form I submitted on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. Mm -hmm. So that they instantly remember it. Yes. So going through this some more they go okay hi i'm okay whatever and then the caller you would go great just letting you know this call is being recorded for quality and training this is supposed to be in training we should be letting them know that the call is being recorded um oh. that's for legality that's okay i probably did not tell you that that's my fault um so let's just make sure we're doing that okay okay all right, so that's the first little introduction. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now that we go to building rapport, so you, this shouldn't take more than a few minutes. So that's good because then they kind of know that, you know, it's not going to be a very lengthy call. Um, first, I'd like to understand a bit more about your situation. Is there anything that has prevented you from buying a car in the past? So, this phase here, out of the few appointments that were scheduled so far, I think one of the best things we can improve upon is building the rapport in the conversation because we need to find out a little bit more about the person in question before, they, before we schedule the appointment. The reason why is because if we don't, the appointment is less likely to show up. I don't think any of those three that we scheduled um, actually showed up, unfortunately. Yeah. So this building rapport phase is very, very important because um, I think it'll be a little more sticky for, for people. So what they can respond with is to answer that question, is there anything that has prevented you from buying a car in the past? Well, you know, I don't have good credit. I've had a repossession. I've had a bankruptcy. I don't have any money. I don't have a co-signer. The last dealership I went to had poor customer service. This is pretty much the main things that they're going to tell you. Or maybe um, uh, I didn't have the time. That could be one of them as well. And I bet you've heard a lot of those before. Am I missing anything? Um, no, no. Okay. That's the most the that's the most um, common answer they give me. Right. So then, back to this caller for you. You know, thank you for sharing that information with me. You know, our goal 
is to make sure every one of our customers has a great experience and that includes making sure your monthly payment or vehicle price makes sense for you. So just reaffirming that we're here to help and we only want to help if it makes sense for you and the best way to do that is to schedule an appointment or you know proceed with an evaluation. And then the, the last bullet point on this build rapport section is are there any questions that you have or is there a specific model you are interested in? So again, just asking a couple questions before we schedule the appointment will help that be more sticky, you know? Mm -hmm. What kind of questions did you have to ask um, when you were dialing for real estate? Um, how many beds and bathrooms? Like, what, what specific type of house they're looking for? Is it duplex? Two story, things like that. Gotcha. So similar, similar, trying to qualify and, and build a little bit of a relationship. Okay. Moving on. And if you have any other common questions that I didn't put on here, just let me know. Okay. At least what I heard is where are you located? Um, and with this, I heard a couple times in yours, you, you did fine. You said, I'll text you the location. No worries. However, certain people live in the area. And if you tell them the address, 9205 Western Avenue, Evergreen Park, for an example, if you tell them that address, they can kind of think about where that is in their mind. And that could be along with texting them the address. So if they're asking for it, you could just go ahead and tell them. So we are located at whatever the client's full address is. I will also send the information to your phone via text message so you have it. I actually think that that's really nice. Not a lot of people do that. So I like the text message sending. What are your hours? And then the other main one was what type of rebates and promotions do you have going on right now? Do you remember people asking you what specific type of deals you have? Yeah, yeah. So I know your common response was, you know, we'll check with my associate, Benny, or whomever it is. We need to be, we need to at least give them a little bit of information um, rather than checking with the associate. And we can easily do that by using this Facebook ad library. And I'll show mm -hmm. you how to do that so you know. Um, so an answer would be instead of, you know, I'm going to have to check with my associate and get back to you. It could be, you know, we have many specials going on right now designed to help customers in all types of financial situations. Here's a few read off specials from current running clients, Facebook ads seen on Facebook ad library. So this link takes me to what's called Facebook ad library. And what, you can do what you should do is before any before you're calling for any dealer especially with facebook ads or instagram ads you can type in their name and then it shows evergreen kia chicago this is their facebook page mm -hmm. and when i click here i have to click all ads And then if I scroll down, I can actually see what kind of ads are running. Here's that credit credit amnesty program. There's a new lineup of 2021 Kias. But then as I scroll further down, we actually have offers. So like if someone asks, oh, what's your best deal on a new Kia? You know, that could be, well, Mr. Customer or Mrs. Customer. We're currently offering a new 2021 Kia K5 for 159 a month. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then we can scroll down and we have a bunch of other ones. You know, this new Sorrento's in stock. The Sportage you can get for 179 a month. You can lease a Soul for 149 a month. So on and so forth. So all these ads here are current running offers. And it shows a little bit of availability of what's going on. So th that way you can answer the person's question, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the 
common question section. And then once you, if you answered some questions, you were nice, you followed up with the lead. Now let's just schedule the appointment. So a couple couple things. Only schedule the appointment after some rapport building has happened. So we don't want to just say, okay, hi, how are you? Okay, when are you going to come in? We need to get a little bit from them. You know what I mean? So let's get a little bit, let's get a little bit more from them. And then instead of asking um, when a good time for them to come in, um, I recommend to suggest times before asking. So if you're going to schedule somebody um, or you're at that point, then you could say something like, okay, Margo, well, it seems like you're interested and I answered your questions. How about um, today, this afternoon at around 3 p.m.? Does that work for you or does tomorrow work better? You know, and then if they don't think that either of those times will work, then suggest a different type of time. You know, okay, how about later this week in the afternoon? You know, and then I, I think it works better to suggest a time rather than waiting for them to kind of fill it in because it gives a little more stickiness. Okay, got it. Okay. So here's an example. From our conversation, I feel very confident that we can help you with your vehicle interest. Does today or tomorrow work better for you this week to come in for an appointment? Customer, today's works fine. Great. Does 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. work better for you? Again, suggesting the times rather than saying, oh, what, what's the best time for you? Uh, but maybe the customer will answer neither, but I can do 7 p.m. And then if they ask you, you know, or they say a different time, you know, it, it makes sense to, oh, let me just kind of check and make sure, even though, you know, we can't really check at this point. So you can like give it a little time and, you know, schedule the appointment then. Okay, 7 p.m. works. I will let my client contact, in an example, Benny Taylor know that you will be coming in today at that time. I'll be texting you the address and information to the, to this phone number. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Please let me know. Otherwise, we will see you tonight. So then you schedule the appointment. You're good to go. Any questions or comments in this section? Nope. No. Okay, cool. Last but not least, some common objections. Tell me if you hear any other ones. Okay. So the first one, I don't have any time or I don't have time to come in. A response, I definitely understand. Is there any time that works better for you this week? You know, you can suggest a time. Uh, let's say the customer's a little bit resistant. No, I still won't have any time. Your response could be, I completely understand as I imagine your schedule is very busy. I know getting a new vehicle for a reasonable price is important to you. So here's what I can do to help. So again, more like that helping mindset, like, okay, I understand you're busy, but I know this is important to you, so how can I help? And the two, the two ways you can help, one, to schedule, this is a little bit different than a normal appointment. I put a spin on it, like an in-person VIP appointment. So you can schedule a VIP appointment where my associate will actually be waiting for you with all your information. So you can get them with a VIP appointment um, if there's still a hesitancy there, the second option would be an online process. So the online process can be walking them through or even filling out the information for them on a pre-approval form. So I'll read through this and then just let me know what questions you have. Okay. So online process, we can get your whole process started online and it will only take a few minutes of your time to initiate this process. That's a little wordy. I'm gonna take this sentence, this couple words out to begin. I will need some additional information from you to get started on your pre-approval, but it won't be anything related to your identity such as social security number, et cetera. Let's get started. So. This link here is an example for Evergreen Kia. And if we open that, this is the get pre-approved today with our three easy steps. And in a matter of seconds, we can get you pre-approved for a loan through one of our many lenders. 
There's no social security number, date of birth required, no effect on credit score, so on and so forth. So basically, you can be on the phone with them if they don't want to come in. You could be on the phone with them, go through this process, may take five minutes, fill out their information, and then you can um, submit the information and then a pre-approval can come in the dealership and then they can get the best value for that person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So this would be someone that kind of resists wanting to come in. Um, or, I, you know, I'm not against even trying to do it even if they wanted to come in because it's just a little more sticky of a situation to to capture to capture more information so i i like this process it's it's pretty straightforward so you know yeah yeah here's another common objection that time doesn't work for me or that time doesn't work you know that's okay i also have availability later this week what works best for you so that's you're more questioning um at this point customer could say nothing works good this week you could say okay how about suggest a few days early the following week your customer okay that time works better great i'll mark you down for the time and date so that's just trying to schedule an appointment mm -hmm. and then finally someone may ask you if they haven't already has anyone asked you what is the price of a certain vehicle um yeah, I think there was one. Sometimes you'll have those people and, you know, it's it's kind of difficult because you don't really know what the price is. Um, I don't even know what the price is. And that's basically what this states. What is the price? What's the exact price that I'll have to pay in a certain car? Actually, this is could be your response. Actually, the store manager changes the price daily based on the market, so I don't have your best price, unfortunately. Which is true. The, uh, the actual manager does adjust the price on vehicles, so you don't always have the best price. What I can do, though, is help you get your best price by gathering some information and setting up an in-person appointment, and then you can lead into scheduling the appointment section. So, does that make sense, though, about the price there with the uh, market changes? Did you get anybody asking um, you, why are you asking me that? Or, you know, your questions don't make sense or anything like that? No, no. But when I was with, um, when I was doing real estate, I get, a, I get that a lot. So one thing that I've heard too is why are you asking me that? You know, that's just, I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable in any way, first name. I'm just trying to gather information so you can have an easy and comfortable experience when you come to the dealership and then you can go back to scheduling the appointment. It's pretty simple, you know, pretty simple. And that I think was the end of what I had. All right, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching all the way through. Really appreciate that. Again, this was David from the Digital Difference Maker YouTube channel. Um, if you enjoyed this content or it helped you in any way, please give a like or subscribe. Really looking forward to giving you guys more content and I'll talk to you soon.